everybody doing? All right, good to see you. Here in Harlem, everyone knows Charlie Rangel. He's the Harlem Lion. At 84 years old, he's been in Congress for 43 years. Make some noise for Charles Rangel! Charlie Rangel! One voice, one community. Adriano Espaya for Congress. Right now, he's facing a real challenge in the primary battle, and there is a legitimate chance he could lose his seat. If you had a good race for us, that was all. Would you say he's too old to win again? And how hard is it to break a streak to unseat someone who's sort of a legend of Harlem politics? You no, know, he's been in office far too long, and he's forgotten the little guys. He's picked Wall Street over 116th Street. Rangel's been through this before. Two years ago, he narrowly saved his job. That was after some health problems, and also after the House censured him following an ethics scandal. I congratulate Congressman Rangel for having won this victory. Now, just two years later, the same opponent is back. I think back then, I didn't have the support that I have now. What's changed since 2012? Well, I don't have a walker. I don't have a spinal injury. He doesn't have the leverage that he used to have at one time. He, got, he had to step down from the Ways and Means Committee. What the heck could he do if he finds his way to the House floor? Rangel won his seat from another legend of Harlem politics, Adam Clayton Powell Jr. The year was 1971. Call him 1971. Folks were pessimistic about coming across 110th Street, and you have perilous times at that time. Since then, Harlem has changed. You have the low-income housing project here behind me, but then all around, co-op Sacano's going up. But gentrification in Harlem, that is the primary concern in this community about people who live in here having the opportunity to remain. Before 2012, the maps were redrawn. Part of the Bronx became part of this district, and that added a lot of Hispanic voters. If you come to East Harlem, you're going to find the Puerto Rican community, which has been sort of like the, the pioneers for the Latino community across the city. You're going to find Mexican-Americans. You know, you're going to find Senegalese immigrants on 116th Street. You know, the press keeps saying my community has changed. It well, has uh, changed, right? So what? I mean, I don't speak Spanish on the House floor. I don't speak Yiddish. Whoever wins will represent the 13th Congressional District in the 114th Congress. This primary, it is the election. This district is Democratic. We got the win behind us that the people have finally said enough is enough. Espayat has become more well known in the area, so he's gained some ground. Wrangle, he says he wants one more term. I'm not even tired. You don't think we're going to see an upset here? Come on! 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 Come